Hi, Mick Garvey from Shooting Country TV. This is uh, another one of my permissions. The greenkeeper's been in touch uh, and the rabbits have started reappearing again. So he's asked me if we can come up and uh, do a little bit of rabbit, rabbit control. Thomas Jacks has kindly supplied the Thermion tool with the LRF and the uh, Axion tool with the LRF. Uh, these are superb bit of kit. They really make the job much easier. We can get in close, we can, we can ping the distances with these in the wide open spaces, we can check the areas, make, see if it's worth going into them. Uh, and they all combine really well with the Air Arms S510 TDR. It's a tool tool and it's FAC, it's giving us a little bit of extra range, a little bit of extra punch for those longer shots out on the fairways. Uh, the weather tonight is uh, not the best if I've got to be honest. It's, uh, it's a nice clear night. There's not a full moon, but it's a very bright moon, uh, and there's no wind, so it's going to make for some interesting, uh, interesting shots tonight and interesting, uh, interesting hunting. But we'll do what we can, and uh, I'm sure we'll be uh, successful.
Uh, this is one of my permissions I've got. It's uh, a golf course and a driving range. The greenkeeper gave me a call. Uh, they've been seeing a few rabbits knocking about. So we've come down tonight to try and take care of them. Uh, the equipment's worked very, very well. The conditions were quite challenging. Clear skies, not a breath of wind. Uh, so it's really made it difficult. We were trying to stalk up to the rabbits, get them within 60, 70 yards and they're on the tours. The rabbits were sitting out in the open in the middle of the fairway, in the middle of the driving range, and trying to get to them was difficult because there's no cover. But we tried as best and we did well. We've done quite well, to be quite honest. We've ended up with 12 under these conditions, and I think the greenkeeper's going to be uh, over the moon with that. The conditions are obviously, like we say, were quite challenging, uh, and, and, be, and because of the, of, the, of, the, of the bright moonlit sky and the no wind, it was difficult to get here. But this is what keeps bringing us back. We're going to get after it. It's an ongoing situation, and we're going to be coming back endlessly trying to get on top of these rabbits because we can't to, we can't get to them every time but we do what we can and we just keep uh, just keep coming back for them another thing i actually do uh, just to make things a little bit quicker and a little bit easier while we're out in the field is to make sure that all the mags are preloaded uh, you, you know last thing you want to be doing is shining a torch filling a mag up it's just a case of when you've run through a mag it's click it out put the next one in straightforward you don't need your torch on to do that everybody knows how to put the mags in their own rifles uh, and, the, and these are just the same as anybody else but keep the mags full ready to load up saves a bit of time and saves lighting the place up with unnecessary light another tip uh, that uh, is something i do i don't actually carry the pellets around in a tin or a plastic container because that rattles and on nights like this that sound will travel right to the rabbits and alert them and they'll be off i actually use these leather pouches and I've got in there, I'll carry my mags, I've got the, the fill probe and I've got half a tin of, my, uh, half a tin of, of pellets in there, the RWS pellets, which have been working well tonight. So and that, it's all these little things that add up just to keep yourself uh, from making too much noise and alerting your, your, your quarry, which tonight was rabbit. Another thing you may have noticed when I tonight, I also have a rucksack with me. Uh, it's like an open top rucksack pick the rabbits up, carry them in there. It's on the bike, it leaves my hands free. So obviously I'm walking around, I've not got a handful of rabbits and I can use the thermal spotter uh, to where it should be used rather than have to like drop the rabbits and pick the spotter up. So a simple thing like a rucksack, carry the rabbits in, works wonders. Obviously these conditions that we've had tonight are obviously dictate the way you approach your, your, your hunting. Uh, two lapses, probably maximum for this night. I'll break that into two, we'll come back, have a cuppa, have a bite to eat, recharge the batteries, fill the mags if they need refilling, and then back out again. And I'll find like two, two circuits of this place, which is a couple of miles each circuit, is enough. After two circuits, then you're gonna be, the rabbits are gonna be spooked and probably ain't gonna come back out again. One of the most important pieces of kit that uh, I think any of us could have is the thermal spotter for all disciplines of shooting, whether it's daytime or nighttime. Whether you're shooting daytime squirrels, daytime rabbits, nighttime, these really come into their own at the nighttime. In cold conditions like this, the images are so crisp and clear. And like we, we're walking around the fields and I can see rabbits at 70 yards. I can ping, ping it with this, I know where I am. I can walk 20 paces. I know I'm going to be roughly on the 50 yard mark, which is round about where my zero is. And it just makes things so much easier. It's a little bit difficult because the range find will tell you exactly where you're going to be. You lose a lot of depth perception with thermal because everything seems to flatten out. But when you've got the rangefinder built in with the, you know, with the Axiom 2, uh, it's a cracking bit of kit and that's, you know, it's going to help you no end. A few little words about the rifle and the scope. Yeah, obviously this is the Air Arms S510 TDR XS 2.2 calibre. Uh, and we've got the, 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 the Pulsar Thermion 2 XG50. Uh, thermal scope, it's got a built-in range finder. For me, PCP rifles is the way to go. Uh, everybody's got their own particular favourites, some first springers, and myself, I've gone down the PCP route now and this is like the way for me. Good rifle, rely on this 100%. Good scope, exactly the same again. You've got a combination there that's gonna make your job so much easier and so much more efficient and so much uh, appreciated by, by the landowners, the farmers, the, even the greenkeepers here. And the job I'm doing for them, I know tomorrow morning when I get in touch with them, they'll be over the moon with what's going off.